August 20th, and we're anchored in a small bite or pocket uh, off to the side of the very back of Puffin Bay on the island, uh, Baranoff Island. And this is on the outside of Baranoff Island, so not many people come here, but it's a favorite spot with local fishermen. They hang around outside. Um, salmon jumping all around us. It's just a beautiful place. We, we were told about this particular spot in Puffin Bay by uh, one of the locals up there in Sitka told us, we oh, here's it. He pulled out his big scale chart, this little pocket. We're going, no, we can't go in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can go in there. It's just like the other place over at Whale Bay. Um, so we're anchored in hopefully about 25 feet of water. <laughs> well, the anchor's so in 25 feet. The or anchor's 30. in 25 feet. We've kind of um, drifted over. I think we're, we're in only. We're close about... to the mouth of a freshwater stream and we're surrounded by salmon. They're everywhere. And jellyfish. And it's really cool. And it's, it's again, an just incredibly beautiful place to be. It's absolutely quiet and there's no noise except the stream and the splashing of the fish. Yeah, we haven't heard a single float plane since we've haven't been here. Haven't heard any float planes this time, have we? No. Nope. Like over at the other place we were overflown uh, twice. Yeah, two two low flies and then a couple of uh, yeah. a couple that we could hear nearby taking off out of Whale Bay. Yeah. We're making our way gradually to Port Alexander. We originally intended to leave this morning, but uh, we had to get up early. So I got up at about 6 and checked the weather and decided that it would be better tomorrow. Uh, it's important going around uh, Cape Omani to uh, make sure that you know not entering Chatham Strait with uh, wind against the current. There's a knot and a half or so current uh, at the south end of Chatham Strait, and uh, with the wind blowing uh, the, as it was predicted, it might have been a little rough. So we decided to wait till tomorrow when the winds are supposed to be light and turning south. Uh, so that it would give us a little boost going up. We're not going that far, only to Port Alexander, because uh, we need fuel. But that point is supposedly just a little rough if you catch the it point, wrong. The point can get boisterous at times, so we wanted to make sure that we had the best possible weather. So that's what we did and decided to stay an extra day. So there goes another fish jumping. They're just <laughs> jumping all over the place. Um, and we are right at the mouth of a freshwater stream, so that explains all the salmon hanging around. into photography <laughs> every single place you look is just absolutely astounding the the light uh, the clouds the mountains the snow on the mountains I mean the lighting here is just phenomenal um, I'm hoping we get some good pictures to add to our uh, website what about the fish you were shooting <laughs> well I hope those turn out with that stream nearby, I don't know what the quality of the video is going to be. If um, if anybody's ever seen fresh water mixed with salt water, it's like smearing Vaseline on your on your lenses. So, I we're going to have to just uh, play it back and have a look at it. The, it might add something really cool to the video quality. I don't know, but um, yeah, I don't know what the visibility down is like down there. At times it seems pretty good, but we'll see. It should should turn out pretty cool though. Oh, we'll pull, a, but there's, we'll pull a GoPro out after breakfast, or yeah, pull a computer out, and, yeah, and, and see, see what we can. see what we got. But uh, you know, the other there's jellyfish everywhere in here, which are these are the stinging kinds, so you got to be really careful. Um, you Great know, big ones. Yeah, they're really big, and the tentacles on those big ones will drag out like 15, 20 feet. So and they're very delicate. They break off, and they'll cling on to anything, and you can get stung. So if uh, we've got some jellyfish sting stuff in our first aid kit. We'll have to maybe have to use that this trip. We're not going know. in the water, but you know, pulling no, up the anchor. No, pulling up stuff. the anchor, and you know, when I'm sticking the pole in the water with the GoPro, I'm having to check the pole, you know, because those tentacles break off and then they just float. So it's a good chance of catching one. But uh, jellyfish are beautiful, but yeah, you got to be careful of them. But it's just, oh my goodness, it's so pretty in here. It's, Undescribable. So. And we're just getting started. Yeah, we're just getting started. <laughs> well, good thing we're leaving in the morning. Yeah, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> there goes the neighborhood.